What's up, everyone, and happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. So, you know, in life, right, especially after you graduate high school um, and you decide not to go to college, it's like, okay, so how are you learning, right? That's my question first and foremost. Like, what is it that you are seeking, right, that is allowing you to learn? Because if you apply, you know, yourself you can learn something every single day something new every single day but you have to foremost first and foremost be willing to set set time aside you know on the regular on the daily to gain more knowledge right and with gaining more knowledge what you have to do is unlearn and relearn see because the things that we that we know in our head some may not suit us anymore so these are things we have to unlearn so that we can relearn new things right that are going to apply to us now so my question is what are you learning and also to tell you that um the key ways that we learn one of the key ways that we learn is through spaced repetition what spaced repetition is is you seeing something over and over and over again and learning that way because you know a lot of times as humans we can't get things the first time some people might have that gift where they can see something one time and automatically boom you know have it but for the most part for the most of us we can't just see something one time and understand it right we have to continue to study it or whatever the case may be so that we can finally get it and if you think about it this way you know this is why um you know, if you ever watch like a movie, right, and you watch the movie over and over and over again, sometimes you will end up seeing something you never you never seen before, right? Even if you read a book, you know, more than once, right, you will end up coming across something that you missed before. You know, that's the same thing goes from, let's say, from a negative standpoint. You know, that's what some of us continue to go through bad and toxic relationships or dealing with bad and toxic people overall in any relationship is because we didn't get it the first time. So, therefore, we had to continue to go through the same thing over and over again for us to eventually understand that okay this ain't it or this person is not good for me right so this is that's how space repetition right works right you have to continuously do something over and over and over again or seek something over and over and over again for you to get it and so my message today is to anyone right who is wanting to gain more knowledge like Go back, right? Go back and look at an inspirational video that you had to. I don't care how many times, right? Until you really understand the concept of what this person is saying. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to watch that video over and over and over again. If you are in a certain type of business, right? You know, whatever is the, one of the ways that you are learning, you know, sometimes you might have to go back, right? And study that thing some more so that you be can become an expert in whatever it is that you are, you know, whatever business that you are in. If you are a person who, you know, reads a lot, go read that book again because it might be something that you missed the last time you read it that you might need now for the seasons that you are in, and especially when it comes to sermons. You know, sometimes you can listen to sermons even and some, you know, you can receive the message, right, a different way than you received it the first time, even in your Bible. If you study your Bible enough, you know what I'm saying, you would know that there are scriptures that you look that one way the first or whatever the, however many times it was that you have read it you have may have received it one way but then a different time of you studying that scripture you can receive it another way so this is why they say space space repetition is one of the key ways that we learn because it ignites something inside side of our mind continuously seeing the same thing over and over and over and over again so for anyone listen don't be ashamed don't be afraid to go back and do something more than one time more than two times more than three times because i trust me it's gonna be for your good it's gonna help you you know become better it's gonna help you become more of an expert in whatever that thing is and again when especially become when especially it comes to somebody you know who is motivating you or inspiring you or just overall your mentor listen replaying 
videos over and over and over again can keep you motivated, can keep you consistent. Because again, also along with space repetition, consistency plays part plays a part in that. Because again, you're being consistent, right? You know what I'm saying? You're consistently looking at something over and over and over again so that you can get it, so that you be, can become smarter, so that you can learn whatever it is that you need to learn for whatever situation, whatever um, season, just wherever you are at in life whenever you're there. So I pray that this message um, helps, inspires, encourages, motivates, and uplifts anyone who it reaches. And as always, you guys, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stand.